welcome to a fingernail fixer video. I've had a request to show dry cuticle work. And the difference between dry cuticle work and wet cuticle work when you hear that terminology is simply dry cuticle work is doing cuticle work without any cuticle product. You would come in and use your tools of choice. Generally, you wanna start off with a pusher of some sort. And if the nails have not been done, this client has not been to you before, you wanna do cuticle work on the entire nail. And I have done these nails in the last two weeks, so there's not a lot of cuticle coming up over the entire nail. You can see a little bit coming up here at the back. And something that we should always cover naturally in any cuticle work video is a little bit of anatomy. So just really quickly, cuticle is gonna be covering, it's a transparent tissue that covers the entire nail plate. This little bit of skin that you can see here that is kind of transparent, you can kind of see through it. If we were to push it, it would become white. This is a keratinized proximal nail fold that skin is living tissue. We're not meant to be pushing it back, making it turn white, nor are we supposed to be trimming it off. This little bit of skin there that is white kind of sticking out from underneath that proximal nail fold is actual cuticle. So back to doing our dry cuticle work. If you take an additional tool, something besides your pusher, to do a more thorough and meticulous prep, you'll find that it picks up that cuticle a little better. You wanna make sure if you're using something like a curette that it's flat to the nail surface. You can see the curette has kind of a little scoop shape or cup shape. You wanna use that flat to the nail surface. Your pusher would be at about a 45 degree angle to be effective. The pusher shouldn't really be pushing anything. It's actually just lifting and separating the cuticle from the nail. And the tools shouldn't be pushing this skin back. They're just going up to that proximal nail fold to separate the cuticle at that spot. And doing this in slow motion so you can see that cuticle detach from the nail. That cuticle is that transparent tissue that's attached to the nail plate as it grows out from under that keratinized proximal nail fold. So this back here is not cuticle. We wanna make sure that we understand that terminology so that we know what we're removing or so that when we visit the salon, we know what we're not asking them to remove or what we're not letting them remove. You wanna use that curette generally in a circle shape and it just sweeps that cuticle up off the nail. In reality, if we were going real time, we would run that pusher across the nail, run it back, run it back. We would run the curette around the nail, and then I would go back and pick up any that was missed and be done. So it's not as long of a process as it what it looks like when you're going in slow motion so that you can see all of the cuticle coming up. And when you finished with all of the nails, you would dust them off, cleanse the nails with the cleanser that you're using for the product that you're going to apply and be finished. Make sure you scrub under the edge of the nails with your cleanser to make sure everything is clean and ready to go. Hope this helped with your dry cuticle prep. As always, any products you used or implements in this case will be in the caption. I'll see you in another video.